So now we're looking at Gorlok Strato against the reverse cuts, high and low. Uh, this is the unusual angle attack because the side's kind of already closed, but we still have to know how to deal with it. So a sword in one hand, we have four options against the high and then two against the low. So against the high, like it's Fendente, Squalim, Rotondo, I can go to Testa. So here, and those decks can then kind of essentially drive our sword up. And then depending on whether they, we have a center or they have a center, I will either thrust with the Mercata or I will cut it aside with a Stramazzone or two. So here, that comes in, we get this in the way, cut and cut, or we get this in the way, we are in control of the center and we thrust with the Mercata. We can also be a little more forceful about it and turn that focus on making a thrust via entrare. So we're reaching out and thrust into the chest or face, depending on the height. We can also use a squalimbo reverso, much like we'll see in Iron Gate, where we beat and cut. So stepping very briefly to the right and then back to the left, or we find we are a bit more bound, we turn that into any crocata to the flank. Finally, we can also void this, like we did with the mandrito, so we give the, again, give it the look of the defense, let it sail by, and then counter as we see fit. Reversal would work, first would work. It's kind of open to interpretation. Finally, we have the attacks to the low line. So in all of these, we're going to be relying on the Ridopio to help cover us. So we will defend and cut, or we will defend pulling that leg back and thrust. Start and try. We feel no bed contact because they're going low, so we simply pull the right leg back, but don't place anything on it. So we're going to reach out, make that contact, we feel nothing, reach out, pull the right leg back. Now, with the sword and dagger, we have similar options. We can still do the true edge defense, which is going to be a little bit easier. So we want to step to the side and turn this into an imbricata right away, which is made easier because this is covering my low line. Or I could do a cut high or a cut low. So we beat, cut high, or we beat and we cut low, making sure our dagger goes high to make sure that side is covered. We can also use entrave which is a little bit strong because we can double up using both weapons for more structure. And we can also kind of get our sword in the way so we can stab to the chest or flank with our dagger. Only time he shows this. So we're going to step here and step in with our left foot hitting to their right side. If they're going to our leg instead, the one he shows is we want to defend with the Ridopio and thrust right afterwards. So we're going to pull the right leg to the left leg and then come forward with it. Finally, we pick up the cloak. We have, again, similar actions. Starting with a, also one that's quite different. Either one, you step across the line, do, do this kind of Hinging step and using the cloak to defend against this and hitting with a thrust or a cut. And we have entrada as well. So the idea here is that the reverso is coming in. I want to step across the line. So here, 
step across the line and either cut, thrust, or cut the leg. I could also do the much simpler option of using entrare to drive the thrust through my defense. And then finally, if the attack in fact comes to the leg instead, we can defend with the developio, come in with the thrust, the panza, or we can remove the leg out of the way and strike the arm or base. So, kind of like a throw here, or maybe the arm is a better target. Cut to the hand with a mezzo So that is all for the reverse defense from Corruga Strata.